Hello there, this is no nickname. Welcome back to another StarCraft 2 video. It's been a few weeks, I have been busy with exams. I still have lots of exams, but not for every week, so I can play more StarCraft 2. In this video, we are going to the planet, or it's hardly a planet, it's a giant floating space prison, New Falsum. Let's see what's up there. New Folsom is ripe for the taking, man. Every voice that was ever raised against Minsk is pinned up inside those walls. We let all them prisoners loose, and he'll never know what hit him. Just let me know when you're ready to pull the trigger. Alright, so the mission is called Breakout, and we have to break open the new Folsom prison. Look, there's credits in it, but nothing else really. So let's go. Where's Tosh? I thought he'd be here by now. He already left the ship. I thought you... Sir, we have an incoming transmission. It's highly encrypted. Patch it through. Well, well. The infamous Jim Rayner. My name is Nova. We should talk. Now what would one of Meg's pet ghosts have to say to me? Tosh is lying to you. Get Tosh on comms. I'm sure he's listening in anyway, encrypted or not. We Spectres be the future. You just couldn't handle it, little girl. Every ghost that became a Spectre has gone on a psychotic killing spree. The ones I've captured are held in New Folsom. Don't listen to her, brother. Help me bust these Spectres from New Folsom. And we'll bring down Minx together. Tosh wants to reactivate his Spectre buddies, using the substances you helped him collect. New Folsom is full of psychopathic killers. Do you really want to release them into the galaxy? I be helping you against Minsk, and my people will too. She won't even join you. He's a psychotic time bomb. He'll be on your side, right up until he puts a knife in your back. This be the moment of truth. Make your choice. Choices. Alright, so we can help Tosh break open the prison, or we can help Nova stop Tosh from breaking open the prison. Now, well, there's a saying I know, and I'm quite fond of it. It goes something like I'd rather have 100 madmen on the streets than one innocent locked up in prison. So we're gonna help Tosh. Apparently there's political prisoners and whatnot in here. And even if a few of them are crazy, murderous assholes, then I still think this is worth it. Now, as for the actual units, this is also going towards Tosh. Spectres are, in my opinion, a bit better than ghosts. Ghosts have the snipe ability, as well as cloaking and calling down nukes. Now, spectres also have nukes and cloaks, but they have this ultrasonic pulse, which basically stuns enemies, well, while this just damages them. Now that's cool and all, but it's not really that useful. Stunning people, now that's useful. So we're gonna help Tosh. Also, she's a... She's working for Minx, why will I help her? Well, Tosh is my bro, or whatever you want to call it, so... Let's help him. You should have told me what you were really planning, Tosh. But I'll take your word over Dominion Assassins any day. We've come this far together. May as well see it through. You've made a poor choice, Mr. Rayner. I knew I could count on you, brother. Now let's go and bust open New Folsom. Uploading New Folsom data now. Feast your eyes on this, brother. They're locked down tight. Nova must have tipped them off. We're gonna need an army to break into that place now. Even an army couldn't get you in there. But one man, one specter in the right place, can find a way in. Then our progress is all up to you, Tosh. I'll push my boys as hard as I can, but they're gonna need your help to gain ground. Sure, you sit back this time. I'll take the lead and clear the way. Just keep sending troops to keep the pressure on. And I'll do the 
rest. There are two cell blocks containing military prisoners outside the main compound. If we break those open, we could probably count on help from the inmates. What else? There's a Dominion base right by the main prison entrance. Take that out and the guards will retreat. The prisoners can handle it from there. All right, Tosh. You ready for this? I've been waiting a long time for this. I'm ready. Alright, so here we are, and here's Tosh. We're just gonna control him in this mission, nobody else. With my cloaking abilities, I can take out all these guards. They'll never see me. Yet. I can use a psionic explosion to take out groups of marines. A little trick I call Mind Blast. Bad mojo on the way. So, Tosh is cloaked, just like Seratul in his mission, and Tosh has some cool abilities like this Mind Blast, which basically just does damage. Now here's Rainer's Raiders, they will help us out as well. That turret across the bridge. It can see me and alert its allies if I get too close, even with my stealth. Alright, so we don't have any Void Prison or whatever it's called that Seratul has, so we just have to kill these guys instead. We can stun them, however, and avoid taking any unnecessary damage. And then we'll take out this turret, and we're safe again, but not for long. Alright, so there's a tank. We also have this high shield that actually shields us from damage. So I'm going to use that. I do. Then I'll stun these guys. So I kill the tank first so it wouldn't destroy my shields. Hang in there, Tosh. My boys are moving in to back you up. Remember, just keep sending in troops and I'll do the rest. Let's just see about that. So here Vayner is sending in troops. I took the high ground here to take out that tank. It worked out pretty well. And that SCV is a bit annoying. Alright, Medic is running away apparently. We should wait for these next marines I think before we go in here. As that bunker is going to tear me up if I just go in. Alright, let's take it out. The hell in first, though. Alright, that's fine. I think we're pretty much clear now, there shouldn't be that much left here. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. There's that's a tank. Oh. Well, no big deal, I can just shoot them without them seeing me. I'll wait for these guys to catch up. I don't want to go killing a tank on my own. At least not when it can see me. Alright, everybody died, but more are coming, so that's good. That tank is still there. Let's make it shoot them first. 
I'll try to crap. Take out this. All right, so we're good. Now we can sneak around here, take out this tank, and let's take out this reactor as well. That should slow their unit production down a bit. Oh. Well, they are, they're fine, I guess. Okay, let's hold position here so he doesn't go get himself killed. I guess I'll just shoot this factory for now. While I wait for reinforcements to arrive. Well, those are just gonna get killed, so I should go help them out, shouldn't I? I do have enough energy to mind blast these guys. Alright, come on guys. Medic healed me up before she died. Okay, let's hang out up here. Actually, let's do this. I believe if I kill all these buildings, then something will happen. Let's try to take out this while nobody's seeing me. Looks like it worked. Good work, Tosh. We're pushing on toward the front line. This new useful ability now that lets me drain life from my allies, giving me energy, which is pretty useful. And it means I don't, I don't have to be very cautious with my energy anymore, as I can just I can just take people's uh, hit points instead. So let's take out all these tanks behind the enemy lines. Tosh, you're nearing the first military cell block now. Releasing the prisoners might buy us some allies. Bad. Take out the SCVs that are healing them. Oh, that was close. Okay, let's go back here for a moment. I want to get healed up and take some life from this Marauder. I'm doing it from the Marauders as it, uh, it takes half their life and converts it into energy, so... Brothers have a lot of life. Which is why I'm using those. Alright. Mind Blast is quite good. So now we can free these guys Our allies are by killing all the units here, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, now let's use this. Get behind here. And kill off this tank. Our allies 
Alright, dealt with that quite nicely. Just have to kill this turret now. Nice work, Tosh. Freeing those prisoners will really help us out. You're free. Now, what genius thought of putting all these diamondbacks right next to the prisoner's cage? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter because they're mine now. So those will trickle out from there as they figure out how to use them, I guess. <laughs> they're actually breaking into them. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's consume some people. Or <laughs> their life, anyway. There's a sweet spot here I can stand. Oh, I thought it was. I think there's a sweet spot here I can stand to take out this bunker, yeah. And actually, if I ran back there, I might be able to stand there and take out that bunker, but I'm not sure. I think I'll just wait for the rest. Okay, let's get healed up by this medic now. So I can take a bit more punishment. I don't think I can actually shoot that from there anyway. Um, I guess he's should Oh, uh, never mind. There are tanks there. I should wait for reinforcements. Ouch! That was close. Alright, come on guys. I need more marauders. Actually healed me too. <laughs> I do what I wanna do. Okay, Diamondback is here as well. Alright. Too close, too close. But we're doing a bit of damage every time, so I guess in the end it will, will work eventually. Okay, let's take out those tanks before they do too much damage. Also, heal me, please. Okay, we need to take out this bunker first. Oh, crap. Just like healing me and I just take her life. Well, half her half of her life anyway. Uh can I stun the bunker? This is tricky. No, that's not gonna work. That is not gonna work. Oh, hey. I do what I want. I didn't notice that. Let's do this. Let's just Ouch. Okay, now I can take out this. Yes. Maybe no. Not sure I've ever seen this place. Let's oh, well. This. Um. Can it see up here? Our allies are being attacked. Well, that can. Let's just see about that. Ah, careful. Yes, maybe no. What the hell was that? Bad mojo on the way. I do. Our allies. That's kind of a weird sound. Attacked. All right, let's take out this. Extinguish the flame. I should actually stun that probably. Damn straight. That might slow it down. Alright, stun. Now we'll shoot this. Okay, there's another turret there too, though. I 
but I think I can take this. Okay. Now if I run down here, right next to that tank, it shouldn't be able to shoot me, which means I can stun that other one. And take it out, hopefully. So let's try that. Alright, this is working. Ah. Crap, 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 crap. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, that was close. 17 hit points. That's too close. I think that's exactly what I had earlier, too, though. So I've been here before. Yeah, healed up again. Alright, finally. Ouch. Um, now let's try this again. No, it can't touch me. Tanks have a minimum range they require to shoot, so... Just taking advantage of that. So really, this is just about being as greedy as possible with those consumes. Because you can probably do more damage with your energy than they can do with their units. We're rolling now. Keep them busy while we establish our forward position. All right, sure. You're close to the second military cell block, Tosh. Feel like making some new friends? Don't you worry about us, Tosh. We'll keep them busy while you free the prisoners. All right, so more prisoners to free. Let's avoid that Raven and take out this tank while it's not there. So we can hide in this corner. Let's just see you out there. Our allies are being attacked. Alright. I do what I wanna do. Gonna do it Quite a useful stun. Or mind blast, I guess it's called. Now those boys are free, we can bust this place wide open. Great job, Tosh. Thank you, Mr. Rayner. Alright, let's go. Tosh, we got a nuke ready for launch. Paint a target. Oh. Just don't call the strike in too close. Okay, let's try to keep this tank alive. Oh. Just hang out by this tank. Oh, actually, never mind. Okay, reinforcements are coming, which should allow me to steal some energy and then run it. That Raven. Okay, I think 
think this raven is coming. What I Actually, where is it? Our allies are being attacked. Not sure. I'll kill these tanks while I wait for it. Oh, there is it. Okay, taking it out. Nice. And now, let's nuke those people. Our allies are being attacked. That was pretty cool. And you know, I think we can afford one more. Nice. Oh hi, a Jackson Shrewenge battle cruiser. I believe we can get those on our own if we actually get the mercenaries later in the game. All right. Oh, more people. Okay, I'll take out that protection, and those people are probably dead. Yep, they are. Oh, more of the section. Alright, now... Nuke. Had to use my Psy Shield there to stay alive. Our allies are being attacked. We have a single nuke left. Those frames are annoying. Oh, they can't actually see me. Never mind, <laughs> now they can. Alright, I'm thinking nuke those. That should help. Ah. Ouch. Didn't really pay attention to my life there, I should have though. Alright, let's get healed up again. Before we go in. Damn ravens are kind of a nuisance. Okay, we need to sabotage their production. And it killed that and that to stop those ravens from coming out all the time. Problem is, there's detection all over that place. Our allies are being attacked. Is there any way? Oh, hello. Maybe no. I do what I want to. Don't have to make it harder than this. Damn All 
Alright, now, now I can sabotage that. Is there a way on the other side here as well? Yes, there is. Nice. Okay, no more ravens from there. I can kill that too while I'm at it. I stunned that guy in midair. That was kind of cool. Our allies are being attacked. Stupid Raven. I do. Our allies are being. How do you spot a bench after I killed that? Well, maybe they had it queued up already or something. I don't know. That was kind of weird though. But now, I shouldn't have any more trouble of being spotted here. And they're pretty dead anyway. Yeah, now they're just training Vikings from there. This should be the last buildings. Nice. You just unleashed a nightmare on all of us, Rainer. Heaven help you now. And the wolves come tumbling down. Be free, my brothers and sisters. Your new life awaits. <laughs> Alright, despite Tasha's slightly evil laugh there, I think we did the right thing. doesn't factor into this. Our revolution's about freedom. You'll see that better future, Matt. But it ain't for the likes of us.
I like Matt Horner. Idealistic, hopes for the future, all that. Pretty cool. Alright, Tychus, what's up? Thought you'd want to hear. Tosh is officially thrown in with our little revolution. He's gonna lend us his specters to help out. You sure got a soft spot for wayward psychics, Jimmy. Setting those freaks loose ain't smart. Old Manx got him locked up for a reason. Manx locked him up because they were just weapons to him. They deserve a shot at living their lives outside a cage, just like anyone else. I think if Mengsk has a reason to lock them up, then we have every reason to let him out. Don't you agree, Tosh? I took a big chance with you and your specters, Tosh. I hope Nova wasn't right about you. <laughs> Don't go believe in that little girl's lies. This specter procedure affects everyone differently. But we're all still human. It's our choice whether to become specters, not hers. Not yours, and not mixed. Choice be the only true freedom anyone gets. But can I trust him? Can I trust you? Don't you worry, Nan. We'll fight for you right to the end. All my brothers and sisters, we owe you everything. And I expect none less. Well, maybe a bit less. Breaking news. Reports coming in today suggest... What's that? We'll go, we're going to Kate, but I... The Dominion's highest value prisoners are loose tonight after a daring raid broke open New Folsom Prison. Dominion security forces are on high alert as some of the prisoners were former members of Project Shadowblade, which we've discovered to be a subversive offshoot of the Dominion's ghost program. A number of political dissidents were also freed during the attack. Do we know who did this, Kate? Was it Rayner's Raiders? The evidence we have suggests it was, Donnie. There you have it. Jim Rayner, making our world just a little more dangerous tonight. From the UNN studios on Core Hall, I'm Donnie Vermillion. More dangerous for the real bad guys, Donnie. You should be worried. Exactly my thoughts. Most days, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Just chasing my damn tail. No. We followed your lead from the start. It's your sense of justice that's kept us on this road. Matt, my interest in justice burned out a long time ago. I've spent my whole life fighting. I've killed. I've ordered good men to their deaths. And for what? Finishing this thing with Mengsk. It's all I have left. It's guys like you that'll build something better after all the smoke clears. That's because you gave us something to believe in, sir. I'll never give up the fight. That's a promise. I sure do believe that. Match Horner is a good man. Hi, Swan. You're a good man, too. That Tosh character gave me the data for building more Spectre gear. You sure we can trust that guy? I heard he was into brainwashing or something. Tosh can only recruit volunteers to become Spectres. That's the deal. He works them hard so they won't go off the rails when they get their full Spectre powers. No brainwashing involved. Good to know. Wouldn't want any of those freaks running loose causing trouble. Aside from Tosh, that is. Yeah, he's kind of in the clear. So we have Spectres on our ship now. Well, more than one now. A side effect of the Spectre training regimen is a marked increase in eccentri eccentricity. Many Spectres carry totems or other trinkets to enhance their abilities. I'm sure they enhance them, of course. Yeah, I believe that. There is speculation that the Dominion still uses Spectres in a number of operations despite the ostensible shutdown of the program. Yeah, that sounds... Just about as hypocritic as Max is. Spectres, tell me, have you ever seen a Spectre? No, because they don't exist. Gabriel Tosh, rumored to be the first Spectre, speaking to Sibroke, Roche, or something, of the Umon. Wait, what? Umojan News Service. Miss Roche, or Roche, 
disappeared a week later and has not been seen since. <laughs> wow. Um, we haven't been here yet. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. So these things are still a big mystery, huh? Actually, I have found something interesting. Whenever you use that Protoss device over there, the artifacts respond by drawing together and expanding their molecular matrices. A little slower and with shorter words, please. Well, if you think of them as dry sponges, they draw ambient energy like water. These things try to absorb as much energy as they can. Are they dangerous? Not if you're human. If my theories are correct, and you were a Protoss, for instance, they could drain the life right out of you. Interesting. So that happens whenever you use this thing, eh? Oh, there's a poem or something. The Ulan Prophecy. The fullness of time. The cycle shall draw to it and... <laughs> Try again. In the fullness of time, the cycle shall draw to its end. The Excel Selnaga who forged the stars will transcend their creation. Yet a fallen one shall remain, destined to cover the void in shadow. Before the stars wake from their celestial courses, he shall break the cycle of the gods, devouring all light on hope. It begins with the great hunger. It ends in utter darkness. That's deep. And I guess it's our job to stop that from happening. So Hansen has something else to say as well. Jim, I've been investigating the claims that Nova made about the Spectres turning into psychotic killers. So what'd you find out? Honestly, there's no evidence that Spectres are any more prone to aberrant behavior than ordinary people. A sudden increase in psionic ability could induce a psychotic break, but Spectres aren't the monsters we were led to believe. Nova lied to us. Well, well that's nice. Well, not for, not for Nova, but it's nice that we actually didn't free a bunch of psychotic killers to just people. Good. But I think that's pretty much it. We had a lot, bunch of credits. Well, we got a lot from that mission. Anyway, I'll go ahead and end this video, and I will see you in the next video. Looks like we forgot something. A sign that says New Files in Prison. Do not pick up hitchhikers. Oh, <laughs> I get it, because they're probably runaway prisoners. James, I thought you might want... James, I thought you might want to remember how we broke New Files in Prison. And Minxis Ktaminu. With the old way, brother. Gabriel Tosh. He's a bit crazy, that guy. And a bit creepy, but... I think we can trust him. Alright, now... The video's over. Goodbye. And I'll see you next time.